Nixos here, and today um, I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to make a Spider-Man game. Uh, I'm doing it in Scratch 2.0 because that's the offline editor I have, and I personally like Scratch 2.0 more than 3.0. In fact, I never even be, uh, never was able to use Scratch 2.0. Whatever. So, like this thing first. Basically, you just want to do your menu. Um, I already done another Spider-Man game um, in the past. Well, I didn't finish it though. <coughs> you remember that? Uh, it's not finished, but yeah. Basically, you just want to make a blank sprite like that. <coughs> it's alright if you add like some text saying like the name. The bad thing about the Scratch 2.0 is, um, you can't really use them, that, uh, down to the color, I guess? So, I don't know. Um, that's like, brighter gray here and darker gray here, so it looks more like, um, the same writing text. Comment down below which, um, Spider-Man is, uh, your favorite. If it's the Sam Raimi trilogy, the Andrew Garfield 2 movies, which, in my opinion, aren't good. <coughs> Uh, I like the suit. It's kind of cool, the first one, but like, the rest sucks. Uh, or, or, uh, the Disney Spider-Man, like Spider-Man and Uh, yeah. Okay. My personal one is the Sam Raimi trilogy, even Spider-Man 3. So then you just want to basically do play here, and I'll make sure it's better. So then here. And I'm just doing a simple me menu right now. Uh, next video, I'll show you how my actual Spider-Man game is. Or the actual one. That I'm actually doing. This one is just more of a little tutorial thing. So I'm not I'm not gonna actually say like go to looks and grab show hide it. Probably just because I said that I jinxed myself. Whatever. So Make this bigger. Oh god damn it, recording thingy. And now I can't drag this. Awesome. And I can't click it. I'm accidentally gonna make this so long. I literally can't. Well, at least I have this. Oops. Base okay, so now you just wanna go to first you go to your title, go to scripts, put one flag, click, go to Zero zero because that's the video middle of the screen. Then go to look scratch show, um, play, do one f events one flat looks clicked looks show. All right, there we go. So oh yeah, also grab a go to front layer. God, sorry. Then you just want to make this thing bigger using the grow. Tool and Scratch 2.0 if you're an offline editor. If you're not, if you're on 3.0, I don't know, ins install the offline editor. <laughs> Either way, it still makes no difference to me right now because I actually have to select the thing. I'm gonna find a way to move this way. Oh god. Probably gonna end my recording on accident. Only reshape things, it's not gonna help. Center tool. At least. Okay, at least that worked. Um, just make your thing as big as you want. Alright, like this. So, I just did. I'm just gonna do a play button. If you can do like uh, settings and other things and just put. Um, when he starts to call. I'm joking, don't actually put that. Uh, no, no, I meant delete. Put. Where is it? When the sprite is clicked, broadcast, and then new message. <coughs> and then you just want to do a game. You can do a loading screen. I'm just going to do a loading screen, whatever. Um, loading. Yeah. Um, this is already going exactly like the other game I'm making. I'm going to just do vector. No, not vector, bitmap. Uh, paint this thing in black, and then just type in loading. 
blah blah blah. Um, yeah, remove, delete the text, the entire thing. Convert it to the vector because you're actually going to need that. It's going to be better. If I can find There you go. And loading. Make sure to type it in white text because it's going to look better. Because you can see it better. Don't know what that's flashing for. And just gonna put it there. Oops. We'll add in three dots. Which, if I'm speaking too fast, I'm sorry. Why is that purple? I don't know. And then you wanna edit this text. Remove one. Duplicate this one, which apparently is purple now. Um, it's not purple anymore. And go to this one. One dot. Oops. One dot. And duplicate this. And just loading. So then you want to go to code now and drag again one fly clip from events show from looks. No, actually hide. I'm sorry. <laughs> hide and then uh, when I receive loading one show and then right here you want to put switch costume to costume one and just put switch costume to costume one again. And then wait one second and be like a lot. So then just put like 0 0.90 seconds. Basically, I don't know, whatever. Um. So then duplicate this and two, three. You could do what I did in in the, the game. I actually am working on. I will, I, I would show it, but like, if I close out of this thing, the entire recording is going to end. So, yeah. And I only have 20, mi 20 minutes to record, so yeah. Alright, so, um, let me delete this thing. And, caution for, wait, uh, I don't know, I deleted that now. 0 0.5 seconds, broadcast, broadcast, there we go. Game. Just to clarify one thing, I did not use any tutorials for um, making my Spider-Man game. I don't want to just um, yeah, just to clarify something like that. Like that. Oh yeah, also put go to zero zero. So it should be like this now. Boop. Oh, oh god damn. It. Uh, when this first click to hide. And put right here, hold on, stop this. Put right here, when I receive loading one, hide. Right here, you want to put stop or description of the sprite so nothing interferes. Description of the sprite. Um, no, yeah, here, right here. There you go. Oops. All right, so and then here I just now first actually what you want to do um go right here duplicate grab t the text tool go try and edit this thing it, it. hold on I think this is all in a uh, bitmap so paint bucket back to bitmap I guess. Paint bucket. Paint this thing. Alright, there we go. Play. Oh god, no. <coughs> Boom. Alright, so. Then what you want to do is go over here. Just caution, caution one. Put this up like the very first thing. And then you want to grab a forever loop. And wait and chill, and then go to sensing. Grab touching mouse pointer, mouse pointer. Switch costume to costume two, and duplicate this. Oops. <laughs> wow, well, that was um. Uh, I gotta go, guys. Um. Yeah, basically, I apparently I thought I had 20 minutes, but I don't. Uh. So basically, I'm just gonna just really fast. Put wait until touching mouse pointer, and um, until touching mouse pointer, duplicate this, and except put this. 
switch costume to costume one and you want to go to operating and put not touching mouse pointer so now you got your menu and um, it hold on. oops I put in the wrong so gent my bad so just drag the forever loop right here so it should go there we go and you can add a sound you can just go like sounds and browse one or just insert one like that or just record one like record one uh -huh. um i'm just gonna delete like this um so then you have your basic menu and that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do for the day um right here you should draw your suit i'm gonna do this off cam um uh, make sure to do two ones like crappy version and the like awesome version basically like the human spider version and the other version or like this don't me start version. you get it so you just want to name your thing and now we gotta go so serious I seriously do have to go. So yeah, guys, just do that. Draw your your thing, and there you go. I'm just gonna do this. I already have a model. I'm gonna use since I already have this thing. Once I basically finish the game, I'm gonna keep this thing. But I am going to like work on it separately. This is gonna be like some other game. I don't know, like the sequel for that game. Problem is, I haven't even finished like half of it. It's not a 20%, right? It's like 5, I don't know. At least I have done something. I want to show you guys in, in it in the next episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give a like, subscribe, uh, follow somebody on Instagram. Not me, because I don't have one. Um, so, yeah, peace out.